Okay, so in this next piece, what we're going to do is we're going to lob off the male end of these WS2811s and I'm going to attach on one of these pigtail connectors. So we are previously, we've already tested the lights and we have already tested the pigtails so that we know they are working. I use the female end to go onto the controller. That means I'm going to want to put a male end onto the end of this. Now, this requires a little bit of soldering, but hardly any at all. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get a little bit of this outer casing off. I just twist it back and forth. Okay, and pull this. So this is a pigtail from Seasonal Entertainment, and he dips the ends in solder. So it's really hard to pull the ends off, so I just take a pair of wire cutters and just take off. On these too, you know, you have to do some stripping of these little wires. And I tried a bunch of different wire strippers, and the one, the, what I found works the best is this really cheap one. Uh, I think this was three or four bucks on uh, Amazon, because they were so cheap. And I want to strip off enough of this so I have something I can solder. See, so I just stick it in there, and then I pull off. And I'm going to give these guys a twist. Just like that. Okay. Now I come over to my string of lights here. I want to give myself as much room as possible, so when I cut this off, I cut it off all the way at the end. Let's go and see if it'll do all three at once here. And it did. That's so much faster than doing one at a time. So now I just need to separate them. Turn on my soldering iron. So I got my sponge wet. I got this little cheap heat gun. Dried it out. So I take the end these ends and I twist them. Or I had to go get my headlamp on. See, I. There's my headlamp. So I have four core, I need three. Typically, red and black are used to represent V plus and ground. Green is a good color for data, so I don't need blue. I need to figure out what goes with what. And again, I do this by looking through the epoxy and I can see that this one is 12 volt. Pop them in here. This one on the end is my 12 volt because I can see through the glass there or through the epoxy that it's 12 volt. Okay. Before you start twisting things together, you want to get your um, your heat shrink on here. Okay, so this is a big one that's going to go over everything. I remount that. Now I need some of the smaller ones. And this is heat shrink. So what happens is when I we apply heat from the heat gun, it will shrink and perf and uh, give us a nice covering of our joints. That way these guys don't touch and short each other out and ruin the lights. And it's important to do this first, otherwise you have to completely redo it. Now I get my heat shrink from Waytech, W-E-Y-T-E-K. Has a little bit of silicone that it uses to provide a nice seal. 12 volt, this is the 12 volt one. Bring them together. These little arm things are amazingly handy. Got two of them. Alright, and then we twist. Okay, now we get the soldering iron. So I take the soldering iron and I'm touching the wire, heating up the wire, and a little bit of solder. And you just give, let it give it a nice even coat. And that's it. This one in the middle is my data. And that is just goes to green. So next I come in and we twist these guys together. Those little integrated circuits, you don't want to push 12 volts down your down those ICs. 
Okay, this is ground, which is black, and I double check ground is to black. So I take this guy. Okay. We're low OCD and we want it perfect. I'm just gonna put a little bit of liquid tape on the end of that guy. Liquid tape. Okay, so now we want to get these heat shrink. Just remove them over our, our solder joints. And as these heat up, they, uh, they shrink. We got all those guys. Now we pull the big one over top. Got a wire. It's a little warm. We got a pigtail now on the end of our pixel string. See that? So next, we're gonna make the uh, pigtail it actually goes into controller. I bought a bunch of this 18 gauge white wire, four core to. Uh, make uh, extension cords and these cut off about a foot on both sides I want to strip off the uh, the outer casing here wires and then I just bend it pull it off right. Leaving the yellow alone because I'm not going to use the yellow. The yellow. Then we do the same to the other side. Yes. 100 bucks a pair, more. And in the end, ow, it's a three or four dollar job. Get it. Did the best. Stab myself. Okay, so I picked the side that looks like the longer side. These are the ones I'm actually going to solder in. The other side's going to go into this. I'm just going to tip the ends with solder so that they don't unravel on me. A little solder on the, on the ends. You know, and that's you don't have to do this. This is just to keep the ends from fraying on you. More because it smells so good than anything else. Just put a little dab. Okay, flip it over to the other side. Female pigtail. Take off some of this excess casing. Or I don't. Good. Put them together. Good enough. Dead tape. We're ready for some fun. Heat up the wire, apply the solder, just let it just kind of coats. Slide these guys over. I like to feel them to make sure there's no nothing pokey on them. I don't want to <laughs> one over. Last little step here. It's actually connect the connector. So this is the little green connector, and you do it the way your controller is set up, and so for mine, this is voltage, data, ground. So, voltage, make sure they're open, voltage, 
do that. Go around. See that? Put them in their little holes. Take a flat screwdriver. Alright. So this is the pigtail that goes on the controller side. So this is the single LED light that we were using for, to test the string before. I'm just going to pop him out of that slot. And then this is the pigtail right here that we made for the controller side. I'm going to insert him in its place. Then on this end of the controller, I plug it into a string of lights. That we also put pigtail on. We'll kick off that same sequence. We'll run through our test sequence again, just make sure everything's still working. White, red, to green, then to blue, back to red again. Or back to white. And that's it. We got our lights tested. We got our pigtails uh, connected to the lights. We got a pigtail made for the controller. That's how you do it. Okay, so I have my working string of 50, and I got my pigtail on the end of the string, and I made my little pigtail extender for the controller. But I don't want just 50 lights, I want 125 lights. So here's 50, here's another string of 50, and a third string of 50. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach these to this one, cut off the ends, and make it all waterproof. Now, the very best way to do it would be cut off both of these three pin JST connectors and then strip them, solder them together, but I'm a lazy guy. There's an easier way to do it. I have this CRC Technician Grade D-Electric Grease. I'm going to use it in my lights. So what I'm going to do is I just pull up the connector here and I'm just basically going to fill it up with this stuff. And it says it does not conduct. And this is so much faster. See? Alright, so that's the first one. And now, so that's the second set of 50, so I'm up to 100. Now I take this one, slide the heat shrink over it, get my grease, make sure that everything's unplugged. Now, Pop him into place. So that's my second set, or my third set. Now 125. So I count out 25 pixels. One, two. Twenty-five. And I get to this blue line. Alright, so I'm gonna cut this guy off. I may want to use the second set of lights. I will want to use the second set of lights for something. So I'm gonna give myself some decent lead. And I'm gonna cut this. Just a little angle there, Pop, just like that. See, now I get these three little guys. Liquid tape out again on the end. And this stuff smells awesome. Okie dokie. And then I get this extra set of 25. I'll use that on another set. Now very quickly, I'm gonna come back around. Add a little bit of grease to the outside of this. And now, I'm going to heat gun this guy. Alright, so that's good for the one. Now it should keep it nice and waterproof. Come back over here. Same with this bad boy. Alright guys, that's inside. We apply the heat. Now, I should have myself a fairly waterproof, or there's no such thing as waterproof, water resistant. So the lights. And 125 lights is what I use on my pixel trees in the front yard. Plug it back in. When I'm all done, I always do a full test. Once I have everything done the way I like it, the smallest things can cause problems. Look at that. 
Look at all that. So over here, I have my liquid tape. And then over here, I have my dye electric grease, which I found in the plumbing section of Home Depot, not the electrical. 